What's up, everybody? Uh, we're going to do another uh, Sonic comic to <laughs> Just kidding. I don't mess with no intros. We're doing f we're doing mouths here. Mouths like Yardley. All right, let's get straight into it. So here I've I got some pic got two pictures here, and these are all covers that Yardley's done. And I chose these ones because, in particular, he's um, with Amy especially. He's expanded her mouth as far as you can get it, as cartoony as you can get it. So, what I did was, we'll just focus in here. So I drew the face, like the, the net, if you will, and here you see the mouth. Now, what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in blue so you can see where it sits in terms of the schema of the head. Now, let's notice a few things. Let me just get a nice color here. The... Oh, that's, a, that's not a good color. The, um, okay. The muzzle, if it was drawn normally, would look something like that, right? But it doesn't. Instead, it comes out like this. So this little, this little section here that I'm coloring in, this part is like, the mouth, which is in blue, is causing the muzzle to stretch itself to have this little colored in section here. Otherwise, it would look like this normally. So that's important to remember. You don't need. You don't, probably won't do it too often. I mean, unless you're making a real outlandish, cartoony face. But if you are doing that, then make sure that the muzzle isn't just the same shape as it normally is, and make sure that it stretches to fit. The shape of the mouth. See how the mouth bends. So it, like, yeah. Because if the muzzle was to be drawn to its fullest extent, it would go like that. So, make sure it um, expands with the mouth. And also, you see these points here and here. When Yardley does the the muzzle, it kind of bends in. And then this section here, he's like, he kind of imagines like the muzzle it's like the regular shape of the muzzle and these parts here like emphasize that the mouth like these parts here emphasize the mouth is coming out of the muzzle I suppose or f shaping the muzzle so yeah it now in terms of the way he draws the mouth what he does is he starts with he starts with um these like two anchor points. Just erase that. He has like two anchor points, like here and here, and he st always starts with a little dip, like that. You can see it in the other ones too. Always starts with a little dip, a little dip. You know, a little, a little dip, a little dipping point. Here, the, there's, there's a little dip. With that dip, you kind, it kind of makes the, the first. The, uh, the top line of the mouth, I suppose you could say. It's like, that's where you, like, start the mouth. It's like a... It's like a, it's like a one-line introduction. So it's like... That there is the, the top. And then from there lies the rest of the mouth, so... Um, in this instance with Jeffrey St. John, it's like... He makes the top line here... And then... And then does the rest of the mouth. So, think of it as, like... When you're doing these, always start with the, the top line. So, like, maybe a little smile and then add the teeth in afterwards. Okay, so, to show an example, let's say I'm drawing a picture. Okay, and if I wanted to do a really happy face, I would always start with a line like this. Then I would add a line that this, this part here is important. Um, it's kind of like a cartoony way of um, making a mouth and it looks overall better than if you just did this this little part here kind of adds it adds a little bit of depth um, a little more intricacy it, it looks a lot nicer so I'd recommend doing that I don't really know what that's called but yeah so always start with this line first and then get the rest of the shape of the mouth now, in terms of what shapes you should use, also, oh, oh, oh before I forget, um, in all of the muzzles that he does, 
notice that the mouth doesn't come above the line. She's not smiling up here. You know, his mouth doesn't go like that. His mouth doesn't protrude out of the general shape of his muzzle. Whenever you're doing a, 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 a mouth, always make sure that it remains inside the muzzle and never protrudes out. Never have the muzzle, like, becoming a weird shape. Never, never break the muzzle shape. The muzzle shape has to stay the same. That's really important. Okay. Now, with that in mind, you might be wondering, okay, well, what, uh, how do the mouths look? You know, how do I know if I'm making a good-looking mouth? Well, here, I've been using this, this, um, this reference sheet made by Kai the Foe, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'll link it in in the description, you can check it out. This pretty much has so many different reference faces of Archie comic um, mouths. It's all the faces you could ever ask for, all you've ever wanted. And it works in the exact same way. You got that top, that top line, and then you simply, um, you know, draw the rest of the mouth from the top line. So, it works in a lot of uh, like bends mouths do that like a lot of bending and also these lines here just like simple three lines they indicate teeth um, or if you have like more squiggled line it can make someone look angry in terms of teeth structure inside the mouth just think of it like a horseshoe like that inside the mouth same with this like if you were to draw that um, it's like two horseshoes, I suppose you could say. And if you have that, in, if you keep that in mind, it, it makes drawing um, the teeth structure a little easier. It's a, it's a really simple um, shape as well. So that's pretty much it. You can use this reference as like, I guess, a guideline to show you how to draw mouths. It gives you a lot of different facial expressions, which which will help you out in the long run. So definitely check those out. And uh, now you know a little bit, a few more tips and tricks and cheats and hacks and hints, some goofs and some gaffs on how to draw mouths. So be be responsible with this brand new power. And and you too could one day draw like Tracy Juggernaut Yardley. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>